welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here welcome and do not forget to hit the subscription button below so guys today we are gonna talk about how to make a diy dangari from a trouser and welcome and stay tuned to those who do not have the red button please do and like this video share if you love it and do not forget to comment below So guys, this is what you need for the project. A pair of scissors, some buttons, needle and thread, sticking strap, and of course a pair of jeans, and an iron box. So let us go straight to the video. So guys, we're going to cut our jeans in our desired height. And make sure you measure it using a ruler because you don't want to mess it up when cutting on one side it's uh, long another one it's short so make sure you have the right measurement and cut through the jeans in your desired height you can if you want to make it short you can make it short but just make it the height that you're comfortable with So we cutting through, we are almost done. It is not easy. So get a pair of scissors that is sharp. And yay, here are our shorts. They're ready. Let's cut the lower part of the leg so that we can get the part to fix the front part and the behind part. Make sure you cut it on a straight line because if you mess even a little bit, then your front part is also messed. So guys, try and be keen as possible. So after you've opened the lower part, bring uh, your jeans and measure the height of your front part. I use your jeans to do that and so that you can have the right place to cut through because the lower part of the leg is long. Of course, you don't want to have all that part in your front part. So you're going to get your jeans and try to measure the part of the front part that you would love to have. So... I'm going to cut through the excess part to make my front part fitting. It's time to do our hemming so that we can have neat end parts and I'm gonna use my sticking strap if you have a fabric glue you can use that as well and if you have the knitting machine you can also knit but in this case I'm going to use my sticking strap and it usually sticks when you put it under a fabric then you use an iron box to like iron over it and after that that is it it's done so I'm going to do that to all my loose ends so that you can have neat ends. And yeah, that is basically it.
we want to make our front pocket we don't want our dangari to miss out on uh, the front pocket and in this part you're gonna uh, measure the height of your front part and the desired height of your pocket and the width of course try as much as you can to make both sides equal and So guys, in this case, I want to cut out my behind straps, uh, the straps that uh, come all the way from behind to join the front part. And as usual, I'm going to use my ruler to make them straight as I mark with my chalk so that I don't miss out on the straight lines. So, and after I finish cutting them out, I'm going to hem the loose and again with my sticking strap so yeah that's it So guys it's time to make our behind part you see the behind part that we will fix the straps with the lower part and in this case i want my behind part to be in a triangle shape that is why i'm gonna use my ruler and chalk to make sure i get the right measurements of course the middle part will be determined by the waist size of my shot and that is what i'm going to use to make my behind part be careful with the measurements because once you mess with one measurement i think that is it and in this case we don't have a lot of fabric lying around as you also it was only two parts of the legs that we used the part the first part i used it to make the front part of the dangari and this is the second part of the leg that i'm using to make my behind part so we don't want to waste any fabric that is why i'm always going through in in with my ruler and so the behind part is ready it's time to do our buttons i'm going to put it in my shot so that I can mark the parts that I'm going to make to put my buttons because in this case this dangare you can attach and detach the parts if you want to detach the dangare you can detach it and wear your shot as your shot if you want to attach it back you can do it and rock it as a dangare so in this point I'm going to mark my buttons point and 
and uh, sew them in ama and knit them in <laughs>